Good day, I'm Stephen McHugh and this is your JIS News for Thursday, February 16. Over $1 billion has been allocated to the Citizen Security and Justice Program, CSJP3, to carry out crime and violence prevention initiatives in targeted communities in the new fiscal year. This allocation forms part of the capital budget of the National Security Ministry and is outlined in the 2017-2018 Estimates of Expenditure, now before the House of Representatives. Among other things, the money will be spent on constructing a community center, developing community safety plans, and providing vocational skills training for 474 beneficiaries. It will also provide support for students to access tertiary and secondary education, conduct job readiness training, and provide placement services to targeted beneficiaries. The CSJP3 will also facilitate the training of 100 community parent trainers and continue the provision of violence interruption services in 40 communities. Starting this September, the Ministry of Education will be fully covering the examination fees for secondary students on path and wards of the state. The policy applies to the CSEC, NVQJ, and Caribbean Vocational Qualification, CVQ, examinations. Education Minister Senator Ruel Reed made the announcement in a press briefing this week. He also revealed that the ministry's regular grant for primary schools will be increased from $850 to $2,500 per student as of September. The ministry had previously increased the maintenance grant for all primary schools by 40%. In addition, increased support has been provided for further infrastructural development and the maintenance of selected primary schools. Meanwhile, Minister Royal Reed has also announced that work on the revamped National Values and Attitude campaign is far advanced. He says it is hoped that the revived program will be rolled out before the start of the next school year. We really feel, based on what's happening to us as a society, we really need to um, come together and let us roll out a major national campaign on values and attitudes so that the positive behavior that we'd like to see dominate our country at all levels are promulgated, encouraged, and incentivized. The campaign will promote good role models for children in school and the community and appoint values and attitude champions in schools and other organizations. The Ministry of Agriculture has earmarked the Sydney Pagan Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics Academy in St. Elizabeth to be the main producers of agricultural items for schools in the northern section of the parish. Minister Without Portfolio J.C. Hutchinson made the announcement during a recent tour of the institution. We want to see Sydney Pagan as a hub in providing agricultural produce for the northern part of St. Elizabeth. And what I mean by this, we have schools in the northern part of this parish which are in need of agricultural produce. We want Sydney Pagan to be the one to provide much of these products that are necessary. Minister Hutchinson says this move will also facilitate the breakfast feeding program for schools in that section of the parish. We want to provide in every school a breakfast program. And for the northern part of St. Elizabeth, you are providing chicken, you are providing eggs, you are providing milk, and we are going to be asking you to be part of that program in making sure that you provide some of these products to the other primary schools. He says the ministry will be supporting the school to ensure it can meet that demand as soon as possible. And finally, Agriculture Minister Carl Samuda is urging livestock farmers to support the continued rollout of the National Animal Identification and Traceability System, NATES. Launched in 2014, NATES is a major step by the government to advance the implementation of an effective cattle traceability system. It stipulates the registration of farms and establishments rearing cattle and mandates that all animals be affixed with air tags and assigned passports. Minister Samuda says its implementation is putting the sector on the right path for development. This is a good and valuable program and we must continue, we must continue to support it. He was speaking at the recent launch of a public relations and advertising campaign for NATES. 
The campaign aims to intensify stakeholder support for and compliance with the program in order to implement it on privately owned farms and among small cattle holders. To date, over $550,000 US dollars has been spent under the IDB-funded program and more than 9,000 heads of cattle have been tagged. And that's it for GIS News Today. I'm Stephen McHugh. Thanks for watching.